Hey Vlog Virgins, it's day eight and I'm Kimberly Turner and I'm going to give you a real quick tour of iMovie for Mac today. So since Heather and I are both Mac users, this is just the program that we're familiar with that we're able to show you how to use. So um, it is a program that came on my MacBook when I purchased it. So it was free in a way. Um, and if you don't have a Mac right now, what you need to do is go out and get one. Okay, I'm joking, but seriously, once you go Mac, you'll never go back. iMovie is your one-stop recording, editing, and publishing program all in one. And you'll probably find some similarities in all the different editing programs. So my recommendation would be to just use whatever program you do have on your computer and, and find the help tutorials to help you learn the basics if you don't have iMovie. So what you see here is the opening screen to iMovie. You see the project library. And this is the event library. And then up here will be your uh, preview screen. So when you do have videos, you can preview them up here in this window here. So the first thing we need to do once you get iMovie is to create your video if you haven't already. So to create your video, you're going to click on this little video camera right here. And a window is going to pop up and you're going to see me. There I am. <laughs> and when you have your computer all set, make sure that light is out of there and your hair is all did and you're ready to record, you can hit capture and it's going to give you an option to create or to save this video in an existing event folder or you can create a new event. And I'm going to create a new event and I'm going to call it Vlog Virgin and I'm going to click capture as soon as I'm ready to record. Are we ready? Hey Vlog Virgins, it's Kimberly Turner and three things that annoy me are blah 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 blah. And when you're done recording your video you can come down here and click stop and you'll see it's going to generate a thumbnail and then when it's done doing that you can click done and then that window will close out and then you'll see your video is right down here and now this is where you can go and preview your video clip now at any time while you're editing your videos hit spacebar to start playing and also to stop. So that gives you an opportunity to, um, to preview different parts of your video. So generally, the first few seconds of your video, you want to crop out just because it's, that's when you're adjusting things and fixing things and getting things perfect to start your video. So when you click on that video, you're going to see that yellow box pop up. It's going to give you an opportunity to drag this yellow box all the way to the exact spot that you want your video to start. And same thing over here with where you want your video to end. And you just play around with that until you have exactly the um, clip that you want to use for your video. And then we're going to click and drag that up here to your project library. Now you can either click and drag it or you can click on this little button here and it will pop it right up there for you. So now this uh, up here is the video that's going to be published as your video, if that makes sense. <laughs> and this is where the fun starts. You get to add all kinds of fun stuff over here. This first button here is for sound effects and uh, uh, move, uh, I'm sorry, music. And there are already some preloaded sound effects um, on iMovie that you can choose from and you can preview them down here by clicking play. Once you find the file that you want to use, you just click and drag it up into your video um, you can also use stuff from iTunes and other files on your computer. This next button is for um, pictures or if you've created um, slides. You just need to find them um, on your computer, whichever uh, folder that that file is in, and then again just drag it into your video uh, project library. This next one is for um, text boxes. And these are fun ones you can put at the beginning. Um, of your video as a title and then also at the end and if you mouse over these it'll show you what effects that they have so you could just kind of check them all out and see which ones that you like best and when you find one that you like you just click and drag it up I drag that one to the end of my video and when that happens you can choose um, different backgrounds so I'm just gonna choose blobs and then um, it gives you an opportunity to enter in your text. And you just have a little fun with this. Okay, and when you're done, click done. 
Now this next button is another fun one, it's transitions. Now transitions are the little effects that you can use in between different video clips just to kind of help make it more of a smooth transition. So these are fun ones to do too. So you could just find one that you like and drag it up between your video clips. And I'm just gonna throw a couple in here real quick just to show you. And so that's what transitions are. And then you can also do different backgrounds and insert um, world maps and all that kind of fun stuff. But these are just the basics. And you're just gonna have to play around with it until you find the style that you want your video to have. And anytime during your editing, you can hit um, the space bar to preview it or you can come down here and press play just to watch your video and make sure that it's perfect. You have all the effects that you want. Um, when you're done, you want to save that as vlog virgins. And tomorrow, Heather is going to show you how to upload it to YouTube and show you the basics of editing your YouTube upload. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be really exciting. Get your video done if you haven't already. I'm really excited to see all your guys' videos. I cannot wait. We'll see you tomorrow. Make it a great day.